1% better. It's our new monthly motivational segment. And today we're going to discuss why we are our own worst enemy when it comes to achieving success from negative self-talk to imposter syndrome. We all deal with it. There are plenty of bad habits that are the result of this limiting belief. Motivational speaker and executive coach Rich Bracken is here to talk with us about how we can remove those negative thoughts. So Rich, thanks for being here. This is a very important topic. It's a critical topic because we all battle these negative thoughts and studies show that 80% of our thoughts on a daily basis are either negative or in a neutral fashion and they're repetitive, right? So we're- That's terrible. It's awful, it's awful. But when we face that uphill battle, it's really, it's important that we're more mindful about positive self-talk, getting past imposter syndrome. So we will talk a little bit about today is the limiting self-beliefs that we put on ourselves and that limit our success. Yeah, so talk to me, why do we have these types of thoughts? And honestly, what causes them? Because I always wonder that to myself. I'm like, why am I thinking this? Sure, I mean, we're not born thinking negative thoughts about ourselves. It's no, usually- Hopefully not. I mean, if you're a negative baby, I, we have bigger problems. That's another Ooh. segment for another day. <laughs> we'll unpack that later. Negative baby is next on 1% better. <laughs> but we talk about how, you know, as we grow up and as we go through school and as we have family influences, all these different thoughts come in because people are telling us things they're telling us that we're limited they're telling us that we're not good enough or they're influencing us in some way but what happens is that we internalize those thoughts and we make them our own unfortunately and we oh start gosh. repeating those thoughts over and over again I'm not good enough I can't do this it's not possible why me and that's what causes that limiting self-belief and it goes on and on and on until we get into school then we get into work and we have those situations and all we the just time. build upon those negative thoughts it, correct it just stacks and stacks and stacks and so that's why it's important that we are very mindfully positive with ourselves okay well being mindful how can we get rid of these beliefs and become you know less negative about ourselves sure instead of making it a habit of talking bad about yourself stop the thought when it happens okay. and start thinking about okay what is this thought and why do I have it and where did it come from and who told me this if anybody told me this because it, again it doesn't start with us we hear these things from externally and we internalize them and repeat them over and over again so it is just a belief and then you need to sit in the thought of is this actually true or is this a limited mm -hmm. example of maybe one time I made a mistake and I just sat in that and sat in it and sat in it. Go back and remove that from yourself because everybody makes mistakes. Shocker to a lot of people out there, nobody's perfect. Oh my gosh, yeah, that, I, <laughs> I immediately think of Hannah Montana, nobody's perfect, everybody makes mistakes. Correct. Um, Cause it is so true, it is so true. Yeah. So change is hard, I mean, how do we challenge that belief? So it's, it really is understanding that we are destined to be as positive and as successful and as happy as we want to be. So if we go back and remove that thought from our, from our mentality, from our repetition, we become more positive, we become more successful. So it's really up to us to stop the cycle of negativity. So by including that positive self-talk, by stopping when we start on that negative rabbit hole slide, mm -hmm. and that allows us to, the chance to say, look, this is not what is true. This is not the belief that I want to move forward in. And is this the best version of myself? Absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. What is that best version? What is your favorite version of yourself? Move into that and start describing that to yourself. Yeah, so what are kind of like, list the pros of it, pros and cons. Yeah, absolutely. It reduces your stress and anxiety. It makes you more likely to take on a challenge and become more resilient as well. And it also increases our happiness on a daily basis. And I don't think anybody wants to sit in negative thoughts. And if you do, this is a chance to start moving away from that. But once we start sitting in those more positive thoughts, we open up more possibility, we achieve more, we, we go for bigger goals, and we have higher emotional intelligence. That's amazing. And I mean, it's hard to take on a new belief, right? Like, how do we, how do we start that process? Yeah, it's like anything else that you start. You're not going to start perfectly. And, and it, any change that I've made, there are mistakes that happen along the way. You slip into bad habits, but realizing it and recognizing it is really the most important piece because we are going to slip into those bad habits. We're going to default to that thought. So if we get into a mindset of saying, oh, no, no, this is the trigger that happens mm -hmm. that makes me start thinking negative. I need to stop, reassess, and readjust what I'm saying to myself and how I'm existing. So is it easy to say practice the belief, then practice makes perfect? Practice does make perfect if you practice it perfectly. Say that five times really I'm, fast. I'm right? not going to try that. I feel like I'd slip up very easily. But you can. The limiting self-belief that you can't say it is what we need to move away from. But understanding that as we move forward and as we start saying, this is what I want to do. This mm -hmm. is how I want to feel. This is what I want to believe about myself. I don't care what anybody else thinks and what everybody else thinks and says to me, I'm going to take with a grain of salt. And that's their opinion and you can't change that. All you can do is control how you feel about yourself and how you think about yourself. That's so important. So I want to say, do you, is there anything specific that we can do to overcome you know, these limiting self-beliefs, sure. something that we can intentionally do. 
You know, my favorite thing in the entire world, and, and most people that know me understand that I'm a massive music fan. So I have those songs yes. that I will listen to when I start feeling myself slipping into a negative frame of mind. When I start my own self-limiting beliefs, I play certain songs and all of a sudden I'm in this mindset of, no, this is not how I want to be. This is how I want to be. So it shifts my mindset. That musical cue mm -hmm. helps me understand that this is a new path for me. That's such an amazing suggestion because all of us obviously listen to music and things like that. So it's really a great note to like, oh, all right, if I'm starting to feel a little spicy with myself, mm -hmm. just put on something to really like bring yourself back down right. and think about those things. Okay, well, thank you so much for being here. Thank we you. love these talks. I know that I love it because I was even telling you in the commercial break, I struggle with these kind of thoughts all the time. So it's great to really bring it to the forefront. Mm -hmm. So tell people where they can follow you. They could find, they could find everything about me on richbracken.com, social media, everything they need to get, connect with me, richbracken.com. Awesome. Well, Rich, thank you so much for being here. And guys, don't go anywhere. My Casey Live will be back in less than three minutes.